made it to the capital of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Our first visit was to Saudi Arabia's biggest city, Riyadh, which is located in the middle of the country. This city has a huge financial and business district with a lot of shopping malls, restaurants and cafes. The best way to get around is by taxi because the public transportation is almost non-existent. In the heart of Riyadh's old town is the Masmak Fortress, which gives a great insight into the old Riyadh. And it's also for free. We also had the chance to try some Yemeni food and we fell in love with Lhasa. The bus ride from Damam took 5 hours and there was nothing in between except for the desert and many many camels. So now we're gonna meet a friend of Verena who's gonna host us for a couple of nights. Yay, are you excited Yay. to meet your friend? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, and now we are waiting for our baggage from the bus. Oh no, it's starting. And he's still running. <laughs> Run for us. For me, the probably weirdest thing during my time in Saudi Arabia was the fact that everything would close during prayer time, including restaurants. And of course, every time we were hungry, the muezzin started to call for prayer. This is Riyadh, it's called um, the Square of Justice or they also call it the Chop Chop Place because this is the place where every Friday or every second Friday the executions take place and it's a really scary feeling to be here. I'm very scared how excited Fritz is about that. <laughs> I'm not excited, I just think it's super interesting to be at a place like this because I've never been at such a place and it belongs to the country and to the culture of the country. So I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to observe. And after only one day we experienced the great hospitality of Saudi Arabia. I tell you, it didn't take long until a local sheikh introduced us to the area, showed us around and even invited us to his home for Arabic coffee. Shukran. Happy New Year 2020! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy 